Hey, JP here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the power supply on the Tronsky XS500 3D printer. Maybe your power supply has failed, like mine, or maybe you just want a better one. Anyway, this is how you do it. First, get the new power supply before taking the old one off. The new one is an S624 power supply. It's slightly more powerful than the original at 25 amps instead of 21 amps. However, and more importantly, it is physically identical to the original. The same wiring and all the same screw holes. It's about $30 on Amazon. If you get another model, make sure it's 24 volts and at least 21 amps. On to disassembly. The first step is always remove the power cord. Now, partially disassemble the acrylic switch housing. When you get it off, you want to mark with tape the primary power connections, and then go ahead and take them off. However, you want to leave the switch connectors still attached. We'll handle those later. Next, you want to remove the power supply from the printer. It's attached with the screws to the frame, two underneath and two on the side. Although that one's missing. This is the most important part. Set the old power supply right next to the new one. We're gonna put tape to mark where the wires go on the new power supply. They just go on the first three here. So one, two, three, since they're so close, we'll probably use one. And the order they're in is red, black, Then blue. Now we can move the connectors. First, we'll take them off the old one. After taking them off, see that the leads are very short. So I'm going to strip just a little bit more wire off of them to give us a little more working room for the new connection. That looks just a little better. First, the red one. Then the black one. And last, the blue one. Next, we'll move the acrylic case over from the old power supply to the new one. Now these acrylic covers are very hokey. Mine came with only one screw holding the whole thing on. That took a bit of fiddling, but finally got the the acrylic case moved over to the new power supply. I've mounted the assembly back on the printer frame just the way it came off, and now I can thread 
the power leads back into the box. Now I note where we marked the positive and negative before, and now I'm just gonna slide it back in and hook them up. The nuts and bolts that hold the cover in place are a little tricky. So I put a little piece of tape to hold the nut in place before we put the cover on. Now, on goes the cover. These don't line up precisely, so I'd recommend getting a few on loose before trying to tighten them, tighten them all down. And there we go. Now for the moment of truth. We make sure it's off. We've plugged the power cord in and turn it on. Success. The printer is now ready to make submarine, airship, and spacecraft parts again. This is a very straightforward project. Just be aware that Trotsky parts kind of only sort of fit together, so you'll need to do a lot of wiggling. Just take your time and you can do this. Thank you for watching. JP Aerospace, America's other space program.